Rolling Bold Productions in Halifax, and Dartmouth Players produced at the same time separate productions of the Rocky Horror Show. Because even MTI who licenses that show knows that no one is crossing the bridge unless they have to. <laughs> Funny because it's true. Zupa also continued to flog the pop-up love party. Let me tell you from experience, if you invite a girl you meet on Tinder to a pop-up love party, you get blocked and reported. Thanks, Zupa. Uh, Leanne thanks me. <laughs> uh, no, and probably Lori. Lori's here too, right? Um, uh, yeah, thank you. Um, I present the next couple of awards, so I'm just going to stand here and they'll change stuff, maybe. <laughs> I would really like to thank the Merit jury um, for their immense commitment and consideration. Um, I want to thank... Uh, Ed Thomason and Festival Anaganish for casting me, uh, Jeremy Webb for just <laughs> directing the hell out of this complicated play, um, our incredible design team, Ian, Sarah, Chelsea, Chelsea, Laura, <laughs> oh, I hope I'm not missing anybody, um, and I will cherish this until PricewaterhouseCooper tears it from my hands and gives it back to Stephanie McDonald. <laughs> Thank you to everybody uh, who supported me. And uh, again, thank you for the risk. And to any of you, you know, I'm a, I'm a country bumpkin from the Annapolis Valley, uh, a brother, and uh, <laughs> in the black sense, not in the like, yeah, my brothers. But um, you know, like people, people took risks on this. People took risks on me. And if you're thinking about taking a risk on a diverse actor from any of the marginalized communities, just take the risk because you never know what will happen. Hello, I'm Andrew Chandler. Like Mike Chandler, without all that distracting sex appeal. <laughs> Let me take this moment to introduce our three merit minders from the third year acting class of the Fountain School of the Performing Arts. Zoe Mackie Beener, Aaron McQueen, and Sophie Shada. Um, this is someone who I would call um, not just a volunteer, but a problem solver. Um, everything from every task that you could possibly think of in running a festival, from run our most complex box office, to take on festival promotion and distribution of our guides across the city, to working with artists and helping them navigate the weird and wild world of Fringe, to uh, billeting artists in her apartment before she even moved into her brand new apartment. Um, this is somebody who has gone above and beyond in uh, putting the needs of the festival first. With no further ado, I'm happy to welcome to the stage to receive this award, April Hubbard. I also want to challenge everybody here tonight to really think about how we can make this theater community more diverse. Um, and to... Thank you. There are so many of us out there that really, really want to be a part and find a home and have a family here in the theater world. And um, I, I hope that we can all welcome them and uh, find a lot of new talented uh, volunteers, artists, and people out there. Thank you. Uh, it was the experience of a lifetime to watch these guys work. And Jacob and Marty lived right next to me in my little house in Prague. Parsboro, and they'd be out boxing every day, and they'd be running the beaches, and people in Parsboro were talking about, who the hell are those people running the beaches and boxing, and like, the women were driving by to look at these guys boxing. And I said, there's my fundraiser. I'm selling tickets on people watching you guys box. <laughs> and kind of the most important times are when you fail. And you learn a lot from those times. It, they're the times when you grow, but also there are those people who, when you think nobody will, nobody will ever applaud or this play is never going to happen, who show up at your door and they say, I'm here for you and I've got an ear, give me your pain and I've got wine and Thai food because they're awesome. <laughs> and so I think, I mean, there are many amazing artists tonight, many fantastic projects and um, 
usually if you know you've taken the time to develop it properly it goes through those times when you think it's never going to happen so um, I would like to thank those people who show up with wine and Thai food when you need them most thank you <laughs> um, no I'm not busy no I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be right there thanks I'm, uh, I'm just going to, I'm not feeling well. I, uh, I'm going to go to the hospital. <laughs>